Okay, so let's see if you have the basic math skills to solve this simple percent problem. So the question is, $75 is 50% of what number or what value? Now, feel free to use a calculator, but uh, if you think you know the answer, put that into the comment section. I'm going to show the correct answer in just one second. Then, of course, I'm going to fully explain how to solve this problem. Also, this is a very special video because I'm going to make a very important uh, announcement here in just one second for those of you that really like my instruction. But uh, one more time, we have $75 is 50% of what value? Well, let's go ahead and see the answer. The correct solution here is $150. Now, if you got this right, well, you definitely get a happy face and an A+. Plus. And if you're confused or if you don't really know what to do, well, don't be sad. Actually, I'm going to show you a few different ways you can solve this problem. Some using a calculator. And uh, actually, a lot of you just uh, figured this out using common sense. But we're really going to get into the math here in just one second. But I want to make this special announcement. So $75 is 50% of $150. And this is how much you will save when you take advantage of my 50% off sale on my full main math courses. This is uh, something that my team and I run uh, pretty rarely, uh, maybe once a year at most. And we're talking about our full one-year courses, pre-algebra, algebra one, geometry, algebra two, and pre-calculus. So if you really want to learn from me, this is the time to sign up. Again, you're going to get 50% off our one-year plan on all of these courses. Now, I'm going to leave uh, all the information to take advantage of this fantastic sale in the description below, including the coupon code. But uh, let's go ahead and figure out how to solve this simple percent problem right now. Okay, now the first thing that you want to do when you have a math problem is to make sure you actually understand the words in the problem. So try to get in the habit of reading a problem at least three times. So let's uh, take a look at this problem. We have $75 is 50% of what number or what value? All right, so let's go ahead and start with this word right here, uh, is, okay? So anytime you see is in a math problem, that's the same thing as the equal sign. So we have $75 is equal to what? Well, it's 50% of what number. So now we need to kind of think about what does 50% mean? Okay, so uh, there is different ways you can solve this problem. And the first way I think is kind of using basic logic or common sense. I'm going to show you two uh, mathematical ways to solve this percent problem. But first, let's just kind of use some uh, basic logic to reason through and get the answer. All right, so $75 is or is equal to what? Well, of course, again, we have 50% of what number? So 50% of something, this number, is the answer, right? So 75 is or is equal to 50% of something. So what does 50% mean? Well, let's uh, take a look at a basic example here. So let's suppose I have a cup of water and that cup is 50% full. So what fraction represents that? Well, of course, I already wrote it down here. That would be one half. Now let's suppose this uh, uh, lower half of this water right here is 75. What is the total um, volume of the cup, right? So if it's 50% full and 50% is 75, well, we have a 75 up here. So 75 and 75 is 150. Or we can just double this 75 to figure, uh, figure out the correct answer. So that's probably what a lot of you did. You said, wait, Mr. Utah Math Man, if uh, 75 is 50% or one half of some number, well, just double this number and you'll get the right answer. And that is correct. All right, so 75 times 2, of course, is 150 or $150. All right, so this is what I would call kind of a, a logical, common sense way to approach this problem. All right, so let's go ahead and review some basic concepts about percent right now, and then I'll show you another uh, way to uh, figure out the answer to this problem. 
So we now know that $75 is or is equal to 50% of $150, right? So if we take 50% uh, of $150, the answer is 75. But uh, let's just review how to find the percent of a number. So if I wanted to kind of check this, I would go into my calculator and take 50% of 150. So how do we find the percent of a number? Well, what we're going to do here is divide that percent by 100 or move the decimal point over two places to the left. So if you have 50 or 50.0% 50 to express that as a decimal, rather, uh, we want to move that decimal point over two places to the left. So that's going to be point five zero or point five then we're going to take uh, that percent expressed as a decimal and then we'll multiply by this number right here so 0. 0.5 times 150 if you go into your calculator you'll see the answer is 75. okay so let's keep this in mind because we can use basic algebra to solve this problem right so uh, now that we know how to find the percent of a number i.e we're going to change that percent to a decimal and then multiply by the number well, we can set up an algebraic equation to solve this problem. So let's go ahead and take a look at that right now. All right, so here is $75 is 50% of what number? So let's let this variable x represent uh, the number. Now, of course, we know the number is 150, but let's suppose this was uh, maybe like 35%. Let's make it a little bit more interesting, right, in our brains, right? So let's use algebra here or understand the mechanics so we can solve percent problems with algebra. Okay, so 50% of what number? So as I just showed you, 50% of 150 is 0.5 times 150. Well, we don't know this number, so let's just call that x. So 0.5 times x, 50% of this mystery number x is equal to 75. So if we can solve this basic uh, basic equation right here, 75 is equal to 0.5x, well, we'll get the answer. So let's go ahead and do that now. So here I have 0.5x is equal to 75. So the left is equal to the right. The right is equal to the left. So I'm just going to move that here and move that there. So when we solve for x, all we have to do is divide both sides of the equation by 0.5. So in our calculator, 75 divided by 0.5 is also 150. Okay, so this is definitely an approach that you want to know in terms of percent problems, how to use algebra to figure out problems like this. Okay, so I'm going to show you uh, this last method, and there's other ways to solve percent problems. But uh, before we do so, I'm going to show you this. Before we continue with the video, let me tell you a little bit more about this special offer. So for this week only, you can get 50% off my full main math courses. So that would include pre-algebra, algebra 1, geometry, algebra 2, and pre-calculus. So if you are taking a math course or maybe your child is in some sort of math course and are having a tough time, well, this is the offer for you. My math courses typically teach more, or I teach more in my math courses than uh, most students will get in an actual one-year uh, setting in a classroom. So it's a tremendous amount of information. So whether you're getting ready for the SAT, ACT, GED, or some sort of other test, or trying to place into college, or maybe you just want to relearn this stuff, this is the deal for you. So I'm going to leave uh, links to all these courses along with the coupon code in the description of this video. But uh, if you ever thought about taking one of my courses, this is the time to do so. All right, so let's go ahead and get back to the problem. Okay, so the last way that I'm gonna show you to solve this problem involves the definition of percent. So what is percent really? Well, technically, percent is when you take a number and you compare it to 100, or you write this percent as a fraction where the denominator is 100. So 50% is equal to 50 over 100. Of course, we can reduce this fraction down to 1 half. But uh, the technical definition of percent is when you compare that percent to 100 in terms of a fraction. All right, so what we can do here is set up a basic proportion to figure this out. 
Now, also, uh, in terms of percent, you want to be thinking in terms of a part out of a whole, right? So 50 is the part and 100 is the whole. So 75 is 50% of what number? So do you think that 75 is the part or the entire whole? Well, hopefully you're saying, well, 75 is some part out of a greater whole. So what we can do here is set up a basic proportion, and this is what we call the proportion method to solve percent problems. So 50 over 100 is the same thing as 75 over some number. So if we can solve for x in this simple propor uh, proportion, excuse me, we can get the answer. All right, so how do we solve a proportion? Well, a proportion is two equal fractions, all right? So for example, if I have one half, and let's think of another fraction that's equal to one half, how about like four over eight? Well, there is a property called the cross product. In other words, if we cross multiply, the answer is the, the same, right? So one times eight is eight, and two times four is also eight. So to solve for x here, all we have to do is use the cross product, and we can figure out this simple algebraic proportion. All right, so let's go ahead and do that right now. So we have 50 over 100 is equal to 75 over x. So we're going to use the cross product here. So 50 times x is 50x. 100 times 75 is 75 times 100. So feel free to use your calculator here. But done the math is pretty simple. So 50x is going to be equal to 75 times 100, which of course is, uh, which of course is 7,500. So to solve for x, all we have to do is divide both sides of the equation by 50. So 7,500 divided by 50 is, again, 150. So I hope this video helped you out. And if that's the case, don't forget to like and subscribe. But again, I want to remind you to check out this very special offer. This comes around maybe once a year, if that. So again, you'll get 50% off my full one-year math courses to include pre-algebra, algebra one, geometry, algebra two, and pre-calculus. So I'm gonna leave the links uh, again and the coupon code in the description of this video. And with all that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your math adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.